<sighs> wow. Who knew there was all this going on under the Leaf Shrine? Now, let's begin. <clears throat> Reaper Death Seal, release! This mask is necessary in order to use the jutsu written in that scroll. Using this calls out the Reaper, which then possesses the user. Then we can release the things that were sealed by the Reaper. Jugo, Sasuke, Suigetsu, get ready! Now, Jugo. Use your chakra to make the extraction from Sasuke. That should draw out the spores of the Zetsu that Toby set as Sasuke's watchdog. They'll serve as the sacrifices to summon the Four. Reanimation Jutsu! <laughs> Come now. Come! The ones who know everything. The former Hokage! Oh, the, the first Hokage? Hashirama Senju, feared as the god of all ninja in the flesh. What's going on here? The Reaper Death Seal. They must have released it somehow. And then used reanimation. Looks like we've been brought back to life, First Hokage. Reanimation again? Everyone seems to have no trouble using the jutsu I invented. There's a reason for this. I simply prepared all this to grant his wishes. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have some questions for you, Hokage. What? Sasuke? First of all, third, why did you make my brother do what he did? I see. So you know. I still want to hear it from your mouth. Everything about Itachi. He killed his fellow clan members and stopped a coup. The man single-handedly prevented a war. He even installed himself in the Akatsuki as a spy after that, to keep the village safe. All under the condition that I protect you, his younger brother. So it was really true. Now, first, I ask you. What is the village? What does it mean to be a ninja? Itachi, my brother, was prepared to protect the Hidden Leaf with his life, despite knowing he'd been used by the village. And he was proud to be a shinobi of the Leaf. What does it mean to give up your own life to protect a village? And what about the ninja that creates such a situation and believe that it's okay? I want to hear it from you. I want to hear the truth so I can decide for myself. Should I take revenge on the village or... Revenge on the village? <clears throat> you think I'm just going to let you... Tobirama! Lower your hand. Fine. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well, 
You want to know about the village, you say? I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know, but it might take some time. No. Please just tell the boy what he wants to know as quickly as possible. What do you mean? We're in the middle of a war here. Madara Uchiha has come back to life and is trying to destroy every last ninja in the world. <gasps> yes, I can sense a powerful chakra presence at two o'clock. The second Hokage is right. I'm picking up some intense chakra too. But it's not just that. No, I think... Ah, this feeling. Naruto, you're fighting too, aren't you? If Madara's back, talking will have to wait. We can't afford to sit around here and do nothing. I'm sorry, but if you want to head to the battlefield, I must insist we finish our conversation first. If you can't provide Sasuke with the answers he desires, I wouldn't put it past him to use you all to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Damn you, Orochimaru! Don't worry, Orochimaru. We understand. Our first priority should be finding a way to ease up what's binding him. So, where should I begin? Well, in order to explain what a village and a ninja are, I must first explain about the two clans, the Uchiha and the Senju. We fought and fought. Both of us were at the very end of our ropes. And we both knew the end had to be in sight for one of us. Let you beat me. Take this. Not the village. Not my ninja. You're too weak. It's over, Madara. Then finish me. Can't do it. That is your problem, Hashirama. You're soft. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect our... No, to protect my village, no matter what happens. I believe that protecting the village means protecting the people of the Hidden Leaf. The ninja, the children. I don't care who it is. My friend, my brother, or my own child. I won't forgive anyone who threatens it. You have your priorities mixed up. That will create darkness in the village. 
someday. That's when I found my resolve. My resolve to protect the village to the bitter end. I don't know how he resurrected himself now, but I buried my friend for good that day, for the sake of the village. Which brings me to the village itself. What Madara and I envisioned at first was a place for clans to come together and connect a way to bring order out of chaos, and keep it that way. It was a place where our children could be safe, where no pointless battles were fought, a place of peace. But the fact is, it created a darkness like the one that your brother Itachi bore. Perhaps Madara was right. Perhaps he saw all that coming. I'm the one who created that situation. I'm the only one who gave it the okay. You see, to me, a ninja is someone who bears anything necessary to achieve his goal. However, a ninja is also shaped by what sort of goal he strives for. Just like Madara and I. A ninja is someone who bears whatever it takes to reach his goal. That's what I built the village on. But Madara had a different ideal. I don't know about Madara's current resurrection. I don't know what's behind this idea of his to wipe out the world's ninja, but... Infinite Tsukuyomi. Regardless of clan, creed, country, or anything. He wants to trap everyone in a genjutsu so he can make things happen exactly as he desires. Everything my brother and you fought so hard to protect. He wants to destroy it all. Then we can't afford to stay here a moment longer. Now that you've heard the first Tokage's explanation, what do you intend to do with it? Will you turn your blade toward the hidden leaf? Or... Sasuke, forgive me. I always lied to you. I asked you to forgive me. Even as I kept pushing you away, I didn't want to pull you in. But now I think of it this way. Maybe you could have changed father, mother, the Uchiha clan, if I'd faced you honestly from the very beginning. If we'd told each other the truth as equals. I failed. I won't put myself above you and tell you this and that. It's too late. So this time for once, let me tell you one small truth. It's all right if you never forgive me. But no matter what you become, I will always love you. I'm going into battle. The village, Itachi. I won't let it all be in vain. Well said. Come then, there's no time to lose. So, that's the path you've chosen. Now, show me what you're capable of. Sasuke Uchiha. Your new win.
Do you remember what we talked about here when we were kids? Yes. Although at the time, I really thought you were joking. How cold. I'm not the kind of man who makes a joke about something like that. <laughs> you really were a strange one, though. What was it now? A school for the children? A safe village for your brothers? Hmm. I remember thinking that you had some pretty grand plans for a little kid. Oh? But they weren't bad dreams. They were the same as mine. Which is why I am here with you today. Yes. The Hidden Leaf Village. This village has become precious to me, and I must protect it. <laughs> so, have you thought about my Hokage idea some more? What? You were being serious about that. I thought you were just pulling my leg. What? No, I was being deadly serious. You would be perfect for the position. You'll be the leader of the village and guide everyone forward. And we'll carve a model of your face in the cliff here as an emblem of the village. Hey, I never agreed to that. It's not my style. It's not up to you. The more embarrassed you are, the better. You're just trying to torture me here, aren't you? <laughs> Very smart. It is a fine outfit. Well, it was supposed to be yours. I still think you'd make a better Hokage than I will. Well, it was a democratic decision. The villagers chose you. You are the Hokage. Madara. This stone. This stone has been passed down through generations of the Uchiha clan. It can be deciphered only by those with special eye abilities. This is as much as I can read so far. Seeking stability, there was a god who split into two halves, light and dark. Bringing the two halves together again grants the user the power of all creation. In other words, bringing two opposing forces together as one will lead to true happiness. But you can take it another way, too. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. There is no point in talking to you about it now. What do you mean? Hashirama? I am leaving the village. We are history. Huh? Wh why I do not have any allies here. No one looks up to me. But I can't do this without you. I need you as my right-hand man, as a brother. The people will soon come to see you for what you are. And when they do, you can be the second Hokage. I should think Tobirama will be your successor. If that happens, my clan will be doomed. I have tried to warn the other Uchiha of the danger and get them to leave the village. Save your breath. I am leaving. I have found another way. Wait! They're just misunderstanding you! Let us just say it comes down to how you perceive reality. Anyway, enough with the groveling. It is far healthier to see this world as a playground. Hey! Are you listening to me? You are the only one who can stand up to me. Mother! Until I reach the path to my true dream. Ugh. I shall enjoy fighting with you.
What is your true dream? Why wouldn't you explain it to me? Lord Hokage! What is it? It's... it's Madara Uchiha! He's coming! What? Really? He's come back? He's attacking the village! He wiped out the vanguard unit. We sent a second and third, but we've had reports of heavy casualties. We're working on evacuating the villagers. We just can't stop Madara's advance. What are we going to do? Hokage! What's the meaning of this? Why would... Madara, we built this place together, you and me. Why would you? It doesn't make sense. I can't understand you anymore. I can't... understand. Ambitions and machinations swirled in the dark night. Had the emotions of yesterday already run dry? Was despair the only thing that awaited? With unspeakable pain in his heart, Hashirama Senju challenged his friend. Believing that in this deep abyss, there was one last sliver of hope. <laughs>